and then you just feel, and then our, our guys here. And then you feel the sun rising and and through, the the sun up through that window. Now, Eduardo and Tim, Jim Bar. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Where does that seem more? bizarre on the last day I mean we, it was really emotional we just kind of came in and, and did a day's work and then it sort of all ended it was very strange the last day so it's just a final big leap <laughs> one last leap one last leap <laughs> one last leap I wasn't really looking forward to it that much in the sense that it was the last day. We already felt it was going to be difficult and awkward. This is such an ironic way to... I know, it's a very strange last yeah. shot, I know. And the morning itself was quite intense. And I just felt the best way to deal with it was get through it as quickly as possible. And not labour and not do loads of takes. And just get to the moment where we could say, that's a wrap. And cut. And check the day. Okay, I feel like I've blocked out the memory because it's almost, it was almost like too much. <laughs> Can I just ask everyone just to uh, join us over by the monitor over there to my right in that open area. If everyone could just head over there, please. That'd be great. It didn't quite feel real and it, it was a bit, it was a bit traumatic. really imagine life without this yet because as literally I've been I'm filming longer than I haven't been filming. First day of principal photography only 247 to go. You know I don't think in, in film television history there can anything quite like it or we've all grown up with this these characters and with each other. This is our second home, basically. It's going to be sad to say goodbye to this place, for one. More importantly, yeah, the people that, that, that dwell within it. We're like a family, a fairly functional family at that. It's been an incredible journey. We take what we do very seriously, but we have a lot of fun doing it. This is kind of playing around. <laughs> and we behave. Yeah, I think we've kind of, over the years, we've kind of blended into one kind of person. I feel like there are so few roles out there that have smart women in them, smart girls, and I feel very privileged to have played Hermione, definitely. It is like you miss a friend or something, and um, so you know there's there's stuff I got to do in this part which which I loved and and will probably never have a chance to do again. it will ever be over and it, it'll always be I don't know part of who I am and it'll always just it'll always be a part of my life this has been my life and so it's gonna be very very odd I think for all of us um, because I don't know what my day-to-day -day life consists of without you all of you and it's wonderful and I just want to say that um, I've loved every minute and thank you all very very much because you made last year's <laughs> It's going to be huge.
huge. It's incredible to see what all of these characters can do when they're pushed to the very edge. Come on! Find out where he is. We can end this. This is kind of the end of the line. It's quite a big moment for everyone. These are iconic figures of good and evil. He's about to grasp victory and defeat Harry Potter. Begin. On this night, join me and confront your fate. Final confrontation between Voldemort and Harry. Something we've been building to throughout the series. We wanted to make this as exciting and operatic as we could. In the book, the standoff between Harry and Voldemort happens in the Great Hall. I just wanted to develop more of a battle because we've waited quite a long time for the fight between those two. There's something interesting in how can one exist without the other, which I wanted to draw out in the final battle. We have them racing through the school and dueling with each other. Capringo! Voldemort's just throwing everything at him. Dave! In a rapid fire assault on every aspect of Harry's magical powers. Voldemort is, without question, the, the most chilling character we've ever come across. Yeah. Rafe fills the space in a way that you would hope that Voldemort would. It's quite intimidating to be in a quite combative scene with such an experienced actor. And he's sort of forced me to raise my own standards. I can't uh, fight! <laughs> We have a lot of scenes where we're fighting or looking or reacting to each other's magic wands and spells. He's very professional and he's got a fantastic attitude. He's a great partner. That really considers the reason behind each of Harry's actions and the conflict between Harry and Voldemort. You see in Harry's eyes that he can't stop. He has to see it through. Finally, we're going to see them going at it. Yeah! And literally come face to face. Come on, Tom. Let's finish this the way we started. Together! Ah!